I teach you how to master your hustle. Today I'm not going to be creating PNG designs. Today I'm going to show you how to create coloring book interiors that will sell. Now you can use these coloring book interiors for Amazon KDP or you can take them and sell them digitally on your Etsy shop. I like to do um I like to do this this way so that I stand out from everybody else. We love Creative Fabrica. We love the Canva elements, but simply using these elements the way that they are is not going to create happy customers that come back for more. They're going to see what you have and they're going to say, I already got this from this person or this person over here. I already got this book and they're not going to look at you anymore. So we don't want that to happen. So what I do is create unique interiors that stand out. Because if we're getting the bundles from Creative Fabrica and these other sites and we're selling them in our KDP books, we're, we're making it harder for ourselves in the end. So let's get started because I don't want to start rambling. But um, I like to select images that have dark borders. They have these thick black lines. That, like if you remove the color it's going to look like a coloring image so you can find these images on creative fabrica and other places like that but all you do you simply click on the on your png and you click on edit image and then we scroll down until we see photographic right here I'm going to select see all and then I'm going to scroll down to the bottom almost and we're going to look under the macro or is that micro? No, that's mono, excuse me. And we're going to click classic. Now classic is going to gray your image out. Mine would want to start acting up once I'm recording. I'm going to try this again. Okay. Once you have clicked classic, you go back to edit image. And you see right here we have adjust. And you go and you push this lever all the way up to 100 all the way up to 100 and if that does not take away enough color for you you go to brightness and you go to the right until that color has disappeared and now you have a empty shell of an image that will make a great coloring page image but i don't like to stop here there are lots of coloring books that have just like her this portrait of this young lady but i don't like to do that now right now i'm going to show you how to use the canva elements to kind of amp this up a little bit so i'm going to go to element and i'm going to go to the search Box. and I'm going to type in abstract coloring page now if I took this and I I'm going to go to graphics and I'm going to go to see all if I took this and I just put this on the page and made this a coloring sheet for myself that would be against the rules of Canva. And I don't like breaking rules. I don't like losing my accounts. I have not lost an account yet because I do things the right way. I don't take shortcuts. I handle my business the way I'm supposed to. 
it takes so much longer but in the end it's worth it okay I select this image now if I wanted to like I said if I wanted to use this image by itself people love to color mandalas but I cannot take this element and just sell it by itself so I'm going to use this image and I'm going to click on it and I'm going to edit it and I'm going to go to duo tone Hopefully it won't take too long to load up for me. And I like to use the, like the girl that we just took the color out of the image. I love these kinds of images because once you overlay it over the background, it, you can't see the background of under that image. You'll see what I'm talking about in a minute. Okay, you go to dual tone. And I like to scroll all the way down to the bottom and go to classic. And once again, it's going to act up. But I'm not going to let that stop me. I'm just going to make a copy. Delete the first one. And try this again. Edit image, dual tone. I'm going to scroll all the way to the bottom. Click on classic. Okay, this is not a good image. <laughs> uh, let me pick another one. Okay, let's see. I'm going to pick this one up here. I'm going to stretch it out. It's already black, so I don't have to do what I was going to do. The other image that I had selected, the lines were not completely black, so I was just going to change them to black. But this one is already black, so I don't have to do that. So I simply put this image behind the girl, and I stretch her until it's position the way I want it to be positioned over the background and I could stop there but I'm not now I'm going to click the letter I'm going to click the letter T and bring up my text box and I'm going to stretch this out a little bit and it's already selected a font for me because this is a font that I use a lot this is gemstone I got it off of Creative Fabrica, I think, if I'm not mistaken. But I'm going to type in the word melanin. L -A -N -I -N. And I'm going to stretch it. And now I'm going to go to Effects. And I'm going to select Splice. And I'm going to take the offset all the way down to zero so that there's no gaps in the word. And the, the fill color is gray. I'm going to turn it white. And I'm going to double click on my girl so that I can crop some of the bottom off so I can't see this, this bottom through my word melanin just simply remove the, the bottom of it nothing don't go too far so that you can barely detect sorry for the noise in the background my two-year-old son just went to sleep and he is kind of snoring he's kind of sick so if that's what you hear in the background it's my baby and now I group everything together so that I can get this inside our margin is in the center and now I think that looks pretty good I like it it's different I can almost guarantee nobody else is gonna have this coloring page 
if they do it's it's not going to be as many as people who have these bundles that you get off of creative fabrica that are already created for you it's great to have those but so many people are using them now that it's kind of making it hard to be individuals if you're using the same interiors and that's kdp's biggest thing they want to make their customers happy and customers are not going to be happy if they're buying the same book from this shop and that shop your shop my shop so let's be individuals let's do things a little different let's switch it up let's give these people their money's worth and it will come back to you tenfold i promise but i'm not gonna ramble i want you all to get out there use your thinker get real creative with it and if you don't want to do the image with the um like the image taking the color out of the images simply forget her quote books are doing wonderfully use the backgrounds make your own backgrounds use lines make your own backgrounds and use this splice effect on your text it's great to color in you can use a couple different fonts and make some cute phrases cute quotes and make a book of just quotes and it's still going to be different it's going to be your own you're going to make it your own we have got to make things our own if we want to succeed in this business and keep those passive dollars flowing to our bank accounts but like i said i'm not gonna ramble i'm gonna let you all go hopefully you like this video please 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 comment down below what you want to see from me next like i said in a previous video i do kdp i do etsy i do redbubble i do it all if it's got anything to do with online graphic capabilities and making money i've got my hand in it somewhere so like the video comment down below with your video ideas your topics your questions and subscribe do that for me and till next time be blessed get, 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 get.